This is up, this is for you, bro. Check this out. You got it? Right, yes, sir. Call it. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 36 and verse 25. Where there is no hedge. Now you must understand that you are the, the head of that house, right? You you have to marry her and you have to make her an honest sister. Because right now you have her y'all in the midst of whoredom. And that is a sin. Understand me? And your job is to get that yourself and your wife and you have children, your children to the kingdom. And this is going to be the foundation of what you need to do, okay? According to the law. Now according to me. Where do we go? You are the hedge. Where there is no hedge, uh -huh. the possession is spoiled. Yes, your rib is your rib is your possession. She is your property. Not meaning like uh, you just slaving and you just you're whipping on her. You will protect her and provide for her. That's right? right? You understand what I'm saying? That is your possession and nobody else can touch that. And you have to own that. You understand what I'm saying? The sister shouldn't be out here spoiled. Uh, There's too many men out here for a woman, to, a woman to be single, having to raise kids by themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Men, got, we have to stand up, step up, and, and run our households. Read from the top again. Where there is no hedge, the possession is spoiled. Where there is no man, then that's where the women goes off. The men is, is, is out of his divine world that the Most High has governed you to be. Are you think she's going? Are you are you expecting a woman to to hold a man's role? No, you can't. Only a man can hold down a man's role, and only a woman can hold down the woman's role. That's mm. right. Where no hedge is, the possession is spoiled. The possession is spoiled. So. That's why we have uh, running rampant in our neighborhoods. We have single parents. Right. The fathers are not nowhere to be found. Right. The young boys are raised to be effeminate. Right. You understand what I'm saying? They're emotional. They're out here shooting each other. That's because there is no hedge. Right. You know what I'm saying? Guarding that possession, because that possession is very delicate. You understand what I'm saying? You don't let no intruders inside your home. Read it again. Where no hedge is, uh -huh. there the possession is spoiled. Right. And he that have no wife uh -huh. will wander up and down mourning. Because the the, uh, the Most High said, looked at Adam and said, it is not good for the man to be alone. God said that. You understand what I'm saying? He said that it's not good for man to be alone. So it's two are better than one. You hear me? You what you're building up is a support system, right? When you down and out, you train your wife to be that one. When you you start stumbling, she's to pick you back up. And vice versa. When she stumbles, you pick her back up. Right. It's gonna take you two to survive in this world. You understand what I'm saying? Give me Exodus 22, 16, right? But it's very important for you to, to make that woman your wife. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're not owning her. How can you be, how can you be mad if another man touches her if you ain't taking ownership of her? That's right. That's right. How can you be how can you be mad if someone looks at her? Make it play. Gropes at her. Uh -huh. Grabs her. Gorilla pimple because no man has taken her. That's you understand right. what I'm saying? She's a, you know what I'm saying? It's cuffing season. What I say, cuffing season, but this season is until Christ come back. You cuff that, you own that. That's, That's right. your possession. That's you right. hear me? Let me read that. Exodus 22 and 16. You know what I want? Yes, sir. Let's get it. The book of Exodus, uh -huh. chapter 22 uh -huh. and verse 16. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed. So this is what it's talking about if you are kicking game, spitting game to a, a woman, a, a, you know, a woman, right? If you entice her to, you know what I'm saying, to be with you or to lay with you, there's some things you must do. Uh -huh. And lie with her, uh -huh. he shall surely endow her to be his wife. Not his baby mama, you know what I'm saying? Not his girlfriend, not his boo thing. His what? His wife! What you have to understand is that the the, um, the beginning of nation. This is what we about. We about nation building. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We're we in this together. In order for you, in order to build a strong nation, it first starts in the household. That's right. It first starts in the household, and that is very, very important. So what's important for you to do is to get yourself right. Get yourself right. Get in these laws, right? Understand them. Have them talk to you. So therefore, whatever you learn, you can teach to your to your teach to your out. Your wife, you need to marry her. So you can teach her how to raise up and build a nation. That's the foundation. This is very important for us because you got to understand we are in a spiritual war right now. And the powers that be are, are planning on us not to teach our children. So therefore, whatever we stand strong and firmly for right now, that is all going to, it's all, they're going to bum rush them through social media and through all this garbage that they promote to our children to dumb them down and not keep the charge that their father is giving to him. So it's very important for you to give your children and your wife these charges. Read that for me. 
This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 22 and verse 16. Three. Train up a child, do what? Train up a child right. in the way he should go. And when he is old, uh -huh. he will not depart from it. So what, 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 what are some things that you teach your, your child? What are some things that you train him to do? For his safety and for, you know what I'm saying, for his betterment of life on this earth. What are some things you teach him? Yeah, just give me a minute. Right. 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 Because you care for him, right? Read it again. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, uh -huh. he will not depart from it. He's not going to depart from it. So what you what you create is a cycle, right? And what we're living in is a very negative cycle, right? You got you got kids, babies out here dying. And what was that? No folk, the little baby they got. How old was she? One month old. One month old. Bullet. What a bullet. What a bullet hit that. And her pelvis. And it broke. It like just it destroyed yeah. her reproductive organs and and her pelvis. Is she still living? I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm just saying, but it, it's just crazy. And but all oh, this is judgment from the Most High God because we do not seek Him. We're leaning on our own understanding, and we go ahead. We govern ourselves about a society that is not for us at all. That's right. It's, it's very important, bro. Cause you can't do this by yourself. You understand what I'm saying? You're not gonna be able to get the kingdom by yourself, but you have to pull your weight, right? Also, your husband has to pull his weight. I'm depending on him. I have to pull my weight. He's depending on me. We're all depending on each other to get the kingdom, cause we can't do it by ourselves. That's right. But it's higher powers that are trying to prevent these things. You understand what I'm saying? So it's very important for you to get your household straight. Read that for me. This is the book of Deuteronomy, uh -huh. chapter six. Listen good, bro. Listen good. And verse 7, Read. and thou shalt teach them diligently. What do you think you're teaching your kids? Like, like what the sister says, she's teaching the kid, don't, uh, don't, don't. I'm walking through the parking lot, you better hold on to my hand. Because what? Because a car can hit him. You understand what I'm saying? A car can hit him. Don't you cross that street, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you stay up on my side. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know, you got people out here kidnapping kids these days. That's right. So you train your children these things for their, their betterment and their safety. Read. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto their children. You have to understand. Because you have to understand. It's a force out here that are banking on killing our and taking our children. You have to understand that. So you have to counteract that, right? Do this. So just as hard as they go, you gotta go ten times harder. You understand what I'm saying? Your lives, your family, your seed, your stock, your house, your possession. Is at risk. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And this is a serious battle. This is a battle we got. We taking too lightly out here. You understand what I'm saying? Read it again. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children, uh -huh. and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. So when you sitting around your house, you know what I'm saying? Put the PlayStation up. You see your kid over there. He in the midst of some mess. That's because you're not teaching him. Sit him now. Put him by his side. He should be following you anyway. That's right. The daughter should be following the mother all the way around the house. Because what you do, you're training her to be a, a, a wife to a, a righteous man. Right. And you teaching your son to be a righteous husband. Right. Ain't one is able to take care of his possession. You understand me? Oh yeah, is that it? Read it again from the top. And thou shalt teach them diligently uh -huh. unto thy children, uh -huh. and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. Non stop. And when thy walk is by the way. Uh -huh. When you walk by, you know, you check on, you know, you checking you checking out, uh, make sure the door is locked, and you just, you know, just make sure everybody's in check. You know what I'm saying? You just dropping on, hey son, give me the Ten Commandments. Hey son, why we don't eat pork? Why? You know what I'm saying? Give me some laws. You keep quizzing them, help them stay sharp, boom. And when thou liest down, when you lie before you lay down, and when thou risest up, rise it up, because it's a twenty-four-seven job, because you have higher powers that's going. I'm guaranteeing you ten times harder than we are as a whole right now. So you got to go even harder. You understand what I'm saying? Go to the Ten Commandments. Go to this is what, these are the things you should be teaching your children. All right? It's the same things that we're learning. You have any questions? Since you got any questions, thank you, son. Please do. That's what we're here for. That's right. Around six and twenty-five, brother. Um, no questions at all. Where's the? If you my man, where's the father? Home. At his house. Not you Y'all not see. This is what I mean. It. The Bible is a true book. This is. The, this, we live the curses. We are the people. We are. We are the twelve tribes of Israel. You understand what I'm saying? We are plagued with curses, and it's all because we are disobedient to the father. 
we all disobedient. We're not doing what he say do. You know what I'm saying? We, we think that uh, just because we're not judged quickly, a lot of stuff happens to us is judgment from God, but we take God out of the, the equation. That's right. But all, all of this you see is of the Lord. He controls everything. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.